example number five is on calculating the all day efficiency. The duty cycle of the transformer is given and the results are no load normal voltage applied in for the 1600 watts and short circuit with reduced voltage current in 2600 watts. First of all, we should understand what is given and what is to be taken out. This both the things for no load 1600 watt should be the iron losses or your core losses and this should be your 2600 watt which is coming by short circuit test is, is the actually the what? Tell me. Yes, this is the <coughs> your moment losses, which is 2600 volt. So this result I am not requiring right now. I what I'll be requiring for energy is that if I want to find the all day efficiency for all day, I need to have the energy output in 24 hours divided by this is the basic formula of energy output in 24 hours to the energy input in 24 hours multiplied by 100 and that will be giving me the efficiency of all day. So how, how I'll be doing this thing? Let's check that. So since I need to have energy output in 24 hours, what is that? We'll find that first of all. Output which is getting out is 160 watt into 8 hours. plus of 100 kilowatt into 6 hours plus of rest of the condition which is 10 hours now for the 10 hours nothing is loaded on the transformer this is a distribution transformer nothing is loaded on we are loaded for the period of 10 hours so I will be writing 10 multiplied by 0 which is not significant but I am writing is just for say to understand, I am writing it for 24 hours. 8 plus 6 plus 10 is 24 hours, which is exactly equivalent to 1800. Yeah, 1880 kilowatt hours. 1880 kilowatt hours. Again, this is the energy output which I was supposed to get. Now I need to have the energy input. How I will be able to get energy input? Energy input will be the energy output plus losses. If I am able to find the losses, total losses in this time, I will be able to know the energy input. So I will be getting efficiency. So for that, first of all, we will start with the load test. Since this test 1600 watt is given for single R and uh, all the efficiency questions, normally everything is given in for single R. So this is for single R. So if I want say iron losses for 24 hours will be equal to this is 1600 watt. So I'll be taking 16 1.6 kilowatt into 24 hours. This will come out to be exactly as <coughs> 38.4 kilowatt hour this is the iron loss for the whole day now somebody may ask that since my transformer is working for 8 hours and 6 hours only and rest 10 hours is free why iron loss is happening since the primary is always other than whether the secondary is energized or not the primary uh, is always energized from the supply, uh, from the power transformer which are coming from the generation unit. So the primary is always energized in a distribution transformer, whether 
or conditionally or non conditionally the secondary is energized or not no matters but the primary is always energized that is why this is one of the reasons biggest reason that all these efficiency are taken out in uh, distribution transfer rather than a normal efficiency so coming back to this uh, part again so i have found the iron losses for 24 hours i'll be finding the total copper loss Copper loss for 24 hours. How I do find? For 8 hours, it is fully loaded. I'll find this thing by. This is, it means I said 8 hours on full load plus. For 6 hours, it's in 100 kilowatt activity power factor. Let's see. 1 in unity power factor means 1 and 1 into 100 kilowatt will be giving me 100 kVm and actually my transformer is of 200 kVm so this is on half load so 6 hours on half load so this is giving 26 uh, kilowatt or oh sorry 26 2.6 kilowatt means 2.6 kilowatt multiplied by 8 hours will give me the uh, copper loss for 8 hours plus of 6 into sorry 6 into 1 by 2 since it is on a half load square multiplied by your 2.6 this will give me the 6 hours half load. If somebody may not understand this thing, I will again explain this thing. Since my transformer is working on 8 hours on full load, so 8 hours into 2.6 kilowatt will give me the power loss for this period, 8 hours. Again, coming to this period, for 6 hours it is loaded as 100 kilowatt at unity power factor. And previously, if I multiply 0.8 by 160, I will be getting 200 kilowatts. kilowatts means it is on full, uh, full load. But when I, it comes to second part, which is 100 kilowatt at unity power factor for 6 hours, so 6 hours into half load will be the total uh, yes, uh, copper loss at the for the period of 6. So 6 into 1.2 square, half load square into 2.6 is for coming from this so i will be getting the total, total copper loss for 24 hours and that this total result is exactly equivalent to 24.7 kilowatt hour so i got losses also i got energy output also i got this energy output i got this iron loss also I got copper loss also. So after putting this thing into here, I'll be getting all the efficiency which will be like. I will remove this thing right now because now this is not important. So energy output from this formula here, I'll be getting 1880 kilowatt R S my energy output in 24 hours then again 1880 plus of energy input I will be writing as output plus losses so this is the output plus losses will be 38.4 plus of this 24.7 remember everything is in kilowatt hour and for uh, and uh, all the efficiency that should be uh, all everything should be in kilowatt hour only. So this will give me the energy or efficiency for all day, and this will come out to be the answer is 96.8 percentage. I am directly looking at the answers of the uh, this thing because that if I start solving this thing, it will take time and it will consume our time. Uh, so rather than going directly 
uh, into the concept and I'm not exactly solving the uh, equations. Okay. <clears throat>